Hey guys, I'm John Setzler. Welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today we're going to continue using this month's Rub of the Month, which is Atlanta Grill Company's Georgia Butts and Ribs. And we're going to do some really nice smoked pork belly. And I'm going to show you how to put a beautiful, crisp crackling on that skin. So let's get started. We're going to get this project started with a piece of pork belly here. I've got a piece of pork belly that weighs almost two pounds and I've kind of trimmed it up a little bit to make this one a little more even. It was a little off on this end over here so I kind of trimmed it. So what we're going to do to start with is we're going to salt the skin. And what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sprinkle uh, some kosher, some coarse kosher salt onto the skin of this. And I'm just going to kind of get it nice and even on there. And I'm going to leave it on this rack. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. And we're going to let that sit overnight. So I'm ready to fire up the bark. So I'm going to turn it on. And I'm going to set the temp down to 250. And we'll let this guy come up the temperature while we get our pork belly ready to go. I've let this pork belly dry brine with that skin in the refrigerator all night. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to score this skin. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to score it at probably about quarter of an inch intervals or roughly thereabouts. I'm going to cut through the skin, but I'm not going to cut down into the meat. So that's going to make a little bit more sense as this cooks because what's going to happen is that's going to separate and it's going to give the fat a good place to render out before we finish this. And when we're done with that, I'm going to score the bottom. I'm just going to lightly score the bottom side of this with a diamond pattern. I'm not going to get anything too extreme on that because what I want to do now is I'm going to take my Atlanta Grill Company Georgia butts and ribs rub and we're going to put a nice liberal coat of that on the bottom side of this uh, pork belly and what I'm going to do is just kind of rub that in. I'm not using any kind of binder here so I'm going to let this sit while our grill comes up to temperature and let that self adhere to this meat. If you want to add a binder to this, you can feel free to do that. You can add a little bit of water or a little bit of oil or whatever you like. But I'm going to let this sit here for 15 or 20 minutes at least. Okay, folks, the Myron Mixon bark is up to temperature and we're going to take this pork belly. I'm going to put it in here and we're going to put that seasoned side down and we're going to smoke this guy until I get an internal temperature on that of about 195 degrees. And I'm going to put my fireboard meat probe right into the center of that. And we're going to monitor the temp as we go. I'm not sure how long this is going to take, so I will let you know when we get back closer to time and we'll come back and check on this in an hour or so and see how it's looking. Okay folks, we are about two and a half hours into this cook and this guy's getting pretty close to being done. Our internal temperature is up to about 182 and we're going for about 195. So we're going to let this keep cooking and you can see how this is doing. This is doing nicely. So we're going to close it back up and just let it finish. Okay guys, we are three hours and 15 minutes into this cook and my internal meat temperature here is up to 195, which is right where I want it. So I'm going to pull that out and we're going to move to the next phase of this cook where we're going to finish that skin. Okay guys, I've got a cast iron skillet out here on my little propane burner and I've got some oil hot so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna pick this pork belly up 
put it in here skin side down into that oil and we're going to crisp that skin. It's going to take just a couple of minutes and we'll be back momentarily. And after a couple of minutes, I want you to have a look at that. I'm going to put that back on my rack here and then we're going to finish it up. Okay, we're going to finish this guy off. I'm going to put on a little bit of the Atlanta Grill Company sweet sauce. We're going to, not a whole lot, I'm just going to spread a layer of that here on the downside of this pork belly. And then we're going to turn it back over. And on the top side, I'm going to shake on just a little bit more of the Georgia butts and ribs. And then we're going to put this guy back in the smoker for, uh, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, guys, I finished this up and I've taken it off and sliced it. I want you just to have a look at this. This is amazing. I'm going to have a taste of this one. Mm. Oh, man. That is just melting your mouth tender. And this has got a crazy crunch to it. Mm. Guys, this is absolutely fantastic. That might be some of the best pork belly I've ever had. This technique something I've been playing with for a while. And putting the smoke on that and then crisping that skin in a little hot oil makes a beautiful result. So guys, you're going to have to give this a try. Let me know what you think. The Bark did a great job on this. So until next time, this is John Setzler with Atlanta Grill Company.